Well, hello, Crime Stoppers. So, little little chill factor there. Little little Grand Solar Minimum action going on. Um, supposedly, it's the hottest year on record, or it's been the hottest years on record. When we ha use your pinheaded little logic and reasoning skills, are you able to understand that when we uh, now that it's the hottest years on record, we're having record cold? Um, and not just by a few degrees. The former record in Chicago was going to be 23 uh, below zero. I think it was 23 something below zero. Um, we're going to have uh, 50 <laughs> wind chills of 50 degrees uh, below zero and more. It's going to be colder on this planet than it is on some other planets uh, when, when they reach their highs. Because it's nowhere near, like, make no mistake, like, Mars and other planets get down to, like, negative 250. Like, it gets really, really cold on other planets. But, you know, it'll warm up on Mars, like, negative 7. Um, but it'll be negative 40 or 50, depending on where you are in the Northwest, Chicago, Minnesota, etc., uh, Canada. Uh, bitter, bitter cold. Like, bitter cold doesn't even describe it. Um, if the power goes out, people are going to die. Simple as that. You will freeze to death in no time in your house. Um, and you're going to see down south uh, as the weather, because what's happening now is the cold is moving down, right, in uh, latitude. And what's happening is, uh, you know, the weather that used to be Chicago weather is going to move as far south as Atlanta. I've said this before. I'll say it again. Uh, the weather that used to be like for um, Edmonton is going to move down to where Chicago is. Um, it's going to be freezing cold. We have grand solar minimum. You humans are not responsible for the climate on this planet. The sun is, period. Now, what you're going to see is tremendous climate change. Um, you're going to see crop failures. You're going to see as the as we go further into the future, uh, year after year, it's going to get colder for a while as we go into this solar cycle. And if they don't know what, if you don't know what solar cycle we're in, you should probably stop talking about the weather and the climate because uh, the sun is absolutely responsible for the weather on this planet and the climate on this planet, and it's getting colder, not warmer. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Anybody that tells you different is a liar, straight up liar. Don't, uh, they're gonna try and baffle you with numbers and science and so forth. Mm, they can't do science and their numbers are bullshit. Uh, and it's become very, very clear. And you'll still hear these guys trying to keep their narrative alive. Oh, it's because of global warming that it's getting colder, right? Because you're so stupid that you'll believe that uh, because it's getting warmer, it's getting colder. Um, no, it's getting colder because it's getting colder, and it's going to get colder uh, year after year. Uh, this winter, um, we have had uh, tremendous uh, weather uh, disturbances, to say the least. Um, and there, it's not just North America. It's not just in the United States. It's in Scandinavia. Um, they've never seen such cold uh, there either. Same thing in Russia. Bitter, bitter cold. Go just look up record cold. Don't use Google because Google will not show you. Google will try to keep this stupid, uh, climate change, global warming narrative alive. So you'll need to use other, uh, search engines. But go take a look at Russia. Go take a look at Scandinavia, Finland, uh, Norway, Iceland, Greenland. Greenland's, uh, ice sheet is increasing. Um, the, the amount of ice on the Great Lakes uh, tremendous, right? Um, and the problem is year after year, uh, that's when I started realizing that, no, we, we have a problem because you might get an anomaly where you have a uh, huge area coverage of ice on the Great Lakes, but then the next year it goes back to normal. Uh, nope. Uh, we've had year after year, it's just been more and more. I've um, been talking about building icebreakers, right? Other countries are building icebreakers, not the United States. <sighs> and now people are going to die because of this. Also, if we get crop failure and uh, winter is going to stay late, it's it's not going to it's not going to warm up rapidly. Um, what you're going to see is uh, you may have some anomalies in the weather, like where you get uh, freezing cold and then it warms up and then it gets freezing cold again. But um, overall, what you're going to see is uh, you're not going to be able to plant until late in the year, and then winter will come early. Winter came early this year, um, and it's going to stay late. And uh, during the winter, it's going to be bitter, bitter cold. So you guys had better stock up food, uh, ways to keep warm, those little heat packets and so forth. Uh, make provision and plans for uh, moving into one room, the whole family in one room. Um, better figure out what happens if the power goes out. Um, so you need light and heat are the two things you're going to need. Um, hopefully you have a basement. 
if you're in a high-rise apartment, uh, you're going to have to pick one room in the house and move into that, and uh, literally your body heat is going to keep things warm. Um, another trick that you can use that, that works uh, is uh, your stove. If you heat water and put it in uh, pans or in a big pot or something like that, uh, water chills down uh, more slowly than air. So if you heat a couple of pots of water, um, those will help keep the room warm longer. Um, there are many ways that you should probably be have already done the research on how to keep your house warm. Um, insulation and so forth. And I mean, just the easiest insulation uh, you can do where you put, uh, you know, plastic over the windows and so forth. Two layers will help uh, because that's going out the windows. Like I was uh, in a house in Idaho once where the, uh, it was just poorly insulated. And I spent like, you know, 50 bucks and uh, cut my heating cost by $700 in a month because uh, didn't have the big windows leaking out all the heat. It had like sliding glass doors and I just put plastic over them. And then uh, I turned the heat off in certain rooms uh, because it didn't make sense to heat. It was a rather large house. Didn't make sense to heat the whole house. Um, turned the heat down and just made sure that it stayed above freezing for the pipes uh, in the basement. And uh, you know, you can save money that way. Uh, but the idea is, uh, you know, you, a lot of people aren't worried about saving money. You're going to be worried about staying alive if the power goes off. Um, and this is going to get only going to get worse. So you need to make provisions year after year. I've talked about this before, but I haven't made it. It's like Fukushima. I should talk more about Fukushima, but uh, it's too terrible to think about. But at the same time, um, I'm bathing my sons in calcium bentonite. I'm giving them zeolite. Um, because the radiation is here in Hawaii and across the uh, coast, you know, from Washington, well, actually all the way from Alaska on down to Mexico, um, the, the radiation is here and it's in the Pacific Ocean and uh, the radionuclides are uh, definitely part of your environment now. So rather than, you know, whine and complain, just deal with it. Same thing with this cold. You just have to deal with it because it's not going away. And it's not going to be forever, but you're going to have to be able to, you know, handle a weekend or a couple of days uh, where it's freezing cold weather. Also, frostbite. Understand what to do with frostbite. Uh, leeches actually are a uh, excellent way to uh, get the blood flowing again. Believe it or not, um, take a look at that. Leeches and frostbite. It's, you can search that on the internet. But the idea is that, um, no, this is going to be the most bitter, nasty cold of, of your lifetime, and it's only going to get worse. This is just the beginning. This is the first winter, and then comes another one, and then comes another one. We are in grand solar minimum, and the sun is absolutely the arbiter of climate on this planet, not as humans. And that sun, it's like a light switch. Many people have warned you before, called sun. There's lots of different books that you can read. I'll put links below. But, uh, you know... Uh, what's up with that? Um, ice Age Now, Mini Ice Age Now, etc. has uh, been talking about this. And uh, it's here. We, we, we're, we're, we're here. And it's going to get worse, not better, for the next couple of years. All right. Uh, so prepare. Govern yourselves accordingly. Move south. I live in Hawaii, right? And even in Hawaii, we're, we're bitching and complaining about the cold. And, you know, in Hawaii, 50 is cold, right? <laughs> 50s is cold. Um, you know, meantime, you guys are having negative 50. So, I mean, literally 100 degrees colder than uh, what it is here. Um, I mean, just ridiculous cold that people can't conceive of how cold uh, it is. Um, it's the kind of thing where, you know, you dump a, a, a glass of tea out and uh, it will be ice before it hits the ground. That's how cold it is. Um, I went out in, I think the coldest I've ever been out in is something like negative 20 something. And I just went out to just see how it was. And I was out there for like literally a minute, not even. It's like, wow, this is ridiculous. So 20 more degrees past that. I mean, you know, because there's a thing. <sighs> there's below freezing, which on the Fahrenheit scale is, you know, 30, right? <laughs> 32. Um but then there's below zero, like negative 50 below zero. That's another, you know, that's 80 degrees below freezing. Um, it's cold. It's going to be ridiculously cold. It depends on uh, where you are and where you are in the plains and so forth. But uh, in the Midwest and um, throughout the Northeast, it's going to be bitter, bitter cold. I'll put a couple of videos below. Um, just be prepared. And it's going to, it's not... 
It doesn't end th this week, right? There's going to be more of this, not less of this. And uh, coming up in the coming years, um, you expect more of this. You expect winter to come early and winter to stay later. Um, if you plant crops, then you need to prepare for that. Uh, greenhouses are going to be a thing um, because if you don't have a greenhouse, your crops are going to die. Um, those of you that are like in Maine and, and Michigan and all over the place, uh, Wisconsin and Minnesota, uh, growing marijuana, uh, you're going to need greenhouses because even the hardy marijuana plants are going to be killed in this kind of cold. Um, and you won't be able to, I mean, fortunately they grow quickly and rapidly, um, but you won't be able to get as many crops. Normally you could get two crops, uh, in a growing season. Uh, you're not going to be able to get two crops in a growing season. You'll be lucky if you get one. Uh, if things keep going the way they're going, and they are, the solar minimum is a real deal. It is not. Uh, this is not conspiracy theory. It is basic science. It does it every few hundred years. Um, the solar scientists have been warning you, and of course they've been ground out by the climate scientists. <laughs> these 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 boneheads that consider themselves to be sciencers um, that barely have you know they have degrees in meteorology. Meanwhile, these guys are physicists and astrophysicists and solar physicists. And, uh, you know, they can't get funding if they say anything that goes against the narrative that is climate change or, you know, global warming, of which there hasn't been any. Um, they can lie to you and lie to you, but just look out your window and explain to me how it is that if it's getting warmer, that you're having some of the coldest record cold that you've ever had in your lifetime. How is it possible that they told you snow would be a thing of the past and that there were going to be warmer, milder winters? And instead, you're getting bitter, bitter, bone-chilling, uh, fatal cold. Square that with your logic and reasoning skills. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. There is oh so much more to go uh, go through. Um, I just had a judge vacate the courtroom right in front of me. That was kind of fun. Last time I was in court, they kicked me out for 20 bucks. This time, the judge actually left before I did. <laughs> uh, which is normally the case, but there was no all rise at the end of the deal. Simple as that. Um, I'll get into that at another, at, an, at another time, but anyway, for the time being, 100th monkey out, understand, uh, the ground solar minimum is a real thing, check out some of my links below, and I'll talk to you soon. Take it easy, Crame Stoppers, e pluribus minimum.